Hello and welcome to Rainy Day Crafting. Okay, we're going to make a card today, but I'm going to do some blending. So I've got some dies out. These are dies in case you've just, you know, not done anything with crafting. I'm encouraging people to sort of start with the basics and sort of build on because I think I have this saying, um, less is more. Because sometimes I don't think you need loads and loads on a card. Anyway, what I've got here, the cards I'm using today are um, six for six, just run in the mill. Um, card obviously you, you use whatever card what, what you like okay so i'm going to use this die which is can you see this size which is slightly smaller because i generally like when it has a little bit of an edge so what we're going to do is so I'm going to say, i thought i had some stuff here ready i think that's okay um so i'm going to pop that sort of cut to the size um and then I'm going to use a heart die, which is the second size down, which I'm actually going to cut out the heart at the same time. Um, you can use sticky tape to sort of hold them down to make sure they don't move. But I often pop that on there and hope for the best. But that will probably now go and prove me wrong. So that's just going to go through my scissors which I've got here I'll just roll it through there the scissors is a big shot uh, there's lots of other brands on the market this is obviously a hand cranked one Ooh, see they, they get a little bit of pressure so let's just move these out the way so here we have as you can see um, let's cut them both out there I think that's nicely in the middle don't get rid of this because this will do another card etc right let's just quickly tidy up so um, I tend to keep my um, bit of sort of reinforced card on the back there these magnetic strips which work pretty well sometimes if I use a couple of thick ones they would sort of wouldn't move at all but I've got quite a lot of dies I think any crafter <laughs> we're always buying more aren't we but what I really want to say is I'm now doing this with a heart and a square. If you've got other shapes of these nests and things round or something else, use what you've got. I mean, obviously I've got an eggy one there, so Easter time. Um, but these are really handy because you can do like, um, what do I want to say? Like a picture frame, you know, around the edge by you put two together. But we'll do that some another time. But if you've just started crafting maybe and just think, let's just learn some basics, this is where we're going. Okay, so let's just move these all out the way so it's not in the way of the camera, etc. So, so what we're going to do is some blending. So I've cut this out. Here's one I've done earlier. Um, a pokey tool, tool will actually then um, poke all these out. But I, I mean, I can do that now, but that's all time, isn't it? And I generally want it to be that I don't hold you on here for ages. And I'm not clever enough at the moment. I'm new to this in a way as far as doing the YouTube video so if you enjoy what you see please push that subscribe button and um follow you know sort of follow me it doesn't cost you a penny to do that and then every time i release a video which i want to do a couple of week um you'll see see them come up anyway so with these pokey tools you, again this is a sizzix but you you know you don't have to just use a pokey tool a good old um big pen a pen pin will do the same but you know so if you're new to this do not rush out and buy unless you want to lots of different bits and pieces see what you've got around and what you can use so so basically this is one i've done earlier the heart that's come out of there um you're going to keep because i might do another card so what we're going to do there's going to be a couple of ways we're going to do this this um then on your card right we're going to blend so with a pencil or something i'm going to do this straight on here um, just so you can sort of see where you're at okay and so you can sort of see where the edge is so this with no ado oh i just want to say these blending tools i now saw them on somebody else's site if i'm honest and thought oh they're really good these are lovely i got them off amazon you sort of see they're brushes uh because i have got the dobbers which are very good um but these i am impressed with anyway i got them off amazon i think the set was um 11 pound ish that sort of price anyway 
Um, but I then did buy another little set, which then had come with five, I think, for this, because I did I did laugh and think I could just buy a toothbrush holder, but sometimes having the things are quite handy. Because when, when I finish using it, I just literally go and give it a wash. Yes, it's coloured a bit, but it's not going to ruin. Anyway, so back to the card in, in question. I've drawn that heart on there, sort of quite central. You, obviously, you can measure it completely, but I tend to do a lot of things by eye. Now we're going to do some blending. And I tend to do the darker first and then work to the light. OK, I've got ripe permission. These are distressed oxides, which I haven't got a lot. Well, I've got a few sets of these, if I'm honest. I think there's, there's quite a few sets you can buy. But I haven't got loads of other different brands, but I really like these. So if you if you like some, you stick with it, don't you? Anyway, so we're using this ripe permission mustard seed and squeezed lemonade. So... With no ado, always have another piece of paper or something because there's nothing worse if you muck up, is there? So I'm going to do, I think, dark and, well, let's have a little look. So look, they load up really quite easily. And all I need to do is just, here we go, just over the edge of where that is. Yeah. Um, I might do a bit down here as well. OK, because I'm doing the different colours, uh, ooh, still a bit. here we go, um, if I just then go, if I just do it initially, so there's, um, you tend to, when they dry up, they almost go sort of chalky. OK, so that's that, and then maybe a little bit there, that colour too. Just sort of blend in. Can you sort of see these brushes are really good? Obviously, if you put it on quite heavy, it stays quite heavy. But if you just do it very lightly, I'm tempted to change my brush just in case it is sort of a bit dark. I'll try and go with a yellowy brush. And then we've got the squeeze lemonade here. I say, um, and then I'm just going to. There we go. So they've all blended quite nicely. And let's just go here to this one. You see, blending it sort of becomes a bit of a technique, but um, the more you practice. Anyway, obviously I've gone over the edges a bit, but that doesn't matter in the slightest because it will be... The other piece will be on the top now because that's going on there can you see how quickly we can make this card so what i'm just going to do um i think with this i'm just going to go round the edge a little bit just so it all sort of mix in and matches a little bit just round the edge I could have then probably got my fingers dobber out for this, but anyway. And then just meet there again, up, back to the beginning. Always keep a baby wipe or something about, because there's nothing worse if you then sort of put the ink somewhere else so right let's just see if we can let that dry so i do need to make sure i wash them i'm not gonna be on here that long right let's pop that out of the way so that's that here's one i done earlier ah oh, this paper i must just show you i literally now got um from aldi um how many sheets are there 36 sheets um, obviously you can use all mixed medias for wet and dry, um, spiral bound, 36, so if you can, you know, draw on it, it's a good all-rounder. Um, thick, we're talking, is it telling me the, the thickness? I don't know if it is. But anyway, it's lovely and thick. But anyway, this I did with just two colours. I tried it out yesterday just to see how it turned out. And the colours I used for that were tumbled glass and blueprint sketch. Okay, so... That's those. So while this is drying, so I don't want to sort of muck up with this. Um, totally different coloured cards, totally different effect. Okay, so there we go. That's that. Obviously, you don't have to put 
the orangey color around the edge entirely up to you so this other one i'm going to do um look at that isn't that gorgeous colors um i was um not going to poke this out was i, I wonder if i've got time to quickly 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 do this this is very therapeutic you know you just pop along here we go um Anyway, so as far as this crafting channel, channel, I've been only, I think I'm only sort of four weeks in. I have only got 15 subscribers, so I, you all got to start somewhere though, haven't you? But I absolutely love, just to sort of give you a little bit of, sort of feedback. I'm an ex-nurse, um, did sort of 30 odd years in the NHS. I actually work as a psychic. And when we're in lockdown, just to sort of keep people, um, I don't know, ticking along, because I've always liked crafts, um, I actually work for Psychic Today. And... Um, they said, oh, do you fancy doing some card making? It's just something different. So, obviously, I was doing that on screen, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And I've, I've been a long time thinking, oh, maybe I'll have my own channel. And that's as far as I've got, to be fair. Anyway, I have. I took the bull by the horns. My husband's made me uh, a reasonable sort of, well, not reasonable, bless him, um, a very nice unit to hold my pad on, which then... Um, so because the first sort of, i mean i think i've done 10 videos so far um some are better than others because i wasn't sort of necessarily getting my pad in the right place to sort of pick up um what i was doing but with a bit like now it's all marked in such a way it should do i'm just in the process of sort of sorting out the lighting because it does create a little bit of shadow right anyway this took a little bit longer than i thought but anyway one we're done earlier Woo, there we go right Sometimes, you know, even those little bits I keep, I'm a little bit of a squirrel, I do laugh about that, but I am. Um, anyway, so that one's drying off there. Like we said, th that one was done like that. If you didn't particularly like it, which I'm not sure if I do, I might turn it over and use it the other way round, okay? Because um, that's okay, but um, cards are homemade, aren't they? But there's a little bit of, um, you want them to look as good as they can. So with this because this is going to go on one of these cards which i seem to have displayed um there we go i want to be able to i think I've, well i've always been a bluey i love blues look at that isn't it gorgeous there's a few of them there so actually i had forgotten to say this is a great little tool you just um sometimes pop it on a piece of foam i've always got things at hand but pop it on a piece of foam Obviously, you don't want to ruin your, your card. That's brilliant. Um, I forgot about this. There's tools for everything, to be fair, but you don't have to have them because a little pokey or a pin will take them out too. And that that one's being awkward. <laughs> well, they are out. It's just um, slightly attached at the back. Right. So, again, just move all my bits and pieces. Right, so with that, still got a couple. Like I said that was the two colour blues and they've blended beautifully. So what I want to do is I think I'll cut it down to there. I just want it very slightly less than what it is. So that's about whoops. There she says. Okay. Always little strips though, keep them because you can use them for other things. So back to the card. There we go. <laughs> it's still a little bit so it's better though, isn't it? To um need to take a little bit more off than taking too much so let's take another little bit that we go these have a little blade in them and um use some pressure on it so then it cuts nice and quickly quite and evenly here we go is another one there Be there 
so you have got a little bit of the blues poking through so what i would do with that is with no ado bit of glue Me and my saying less is more and I think that's really the principle with glue as well because you can have too much it's squidge everywhere and the next thing um, no good right that's going on there tell you what, before I finish that off once, once they're gone you can't oh, put them on the carrot, do they? Like I say, you can use whatever shapes you want. There's a few in there, so I might have to... I don't know why they don't want to. Can you see? They're just slightly caught. Sometimes, though, if you put it backwards and forwards through your machine just a little bit, that makes sure they all come out. They're, they're, they're gone, really. Yeah. What I would often do is weight that down with something so it sticks lovely, okay? Then we would be putting this on here. So quite a simple little card, isn't it? So where we were then also, this one, this one, I'm going to just, I'm going to do this the other way up. So I'm going to put some glue on here. I'm going to have to be careful because the other one's still a little bit wet. How are we doing for time? I need to get myself a little clock in here. So I want it to be, maybe maybe eventually I'll be able to know how to um see how you can get two lovely colours. Look at that. So two cards made quite quickly, I'm sure you'll agree. I've turned that upside down yet, but saying that, you've still got, um, see, this is the beauty. With glue, you've generally got that little bit of wiggle room as well. So what I would now do, I've just picked out a couple of um, dies, sentiments. This one's happy birthday, which that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, or maybe something just like hugs um the orange one's quite quite nice isn't it so which might just fit there all right so obviously if you want to you can put a lot more on these cards your choice completely and remember different words whether it's for an anniversary use your different sentiments so what i'd like to do is old bits of scrappy cards and things packaging oh dear a chocolate wrapper well i never um Surprise, surprise. What I do, so um, I could have tried to fit them both in at the same time. I've got to use my little sidekick, which is brilliant for if you're doing flowers and all more intricates. I tend to put another like little shim on top, put them together. This actually um, sort of sticks to the table as such. I go backwards and forwards just a couple of times. Um, to make sure it's cut out okay there we go really no I mean if you wanted to whoop, she's in. Uh -huh. actually in fact do you know what? Actually, I quite like that just with there. Now, you could put it in there. You could on there. But I quite like it that. that. And do you know what? Um, I actually like it just at that. So there we go. That's, that's um, live as to what we're doing. So a bit of paper, a bit of glue on the back. You could then do it. What I'm going to show you just... Um, in a sec, a bit of glue. These little glue bottles are brilliant because they are quite precision. They limit sort of how much glue comes out. Because my saying, less is more. <laughs> no. 
and there we have again i tend to line things up by my eye but there we go and then this other one see it could be too much couldn't it so could do white on white could do the blue um do you know what just the fact i like the hugs on there but i want to just show you a different effect really so this blue which we've done earlier same same I'm going to put the happy birthday on there. A little bit of a shim. There we go. Can we come again? Oops, <laughs> might help if I put the little bit on. You could stick these down, but I tend to. Oops. There we go. Backwards. tip you might have already noticed i know i have said it before but all my um sentiments i keep in little packaging you know you get packages in the post I, mean, I do buy some other bits and pieces but it's really handy because okay that you can see happy birthday no problem but sometimes if i now show you some of the other ones i've got i've got a few happy birthdays but i'm trying to think what words are you can't necessarily read what it says and so you always like need to get your mirror out to double check what you've got Right now, again, this is a bit flimsy like this, but I'd be tempted to cut out the gold from whatever I did previously. Look at that, not bad, hey. But what I'm going to just quickly do, and then we'll sort of say they're, they're done. So obviously let them to dry. That's the main thing. But isn't that quite nice? If you wanted to, you could do a step forward. I haven't done much with embossing with you, but you could have, while that was still wet, you could literally have put your embossing powder on there, then used your heat gun, and that would have gone all very shiny. Another thing, just as a tip, um, I love sewing. I love all my crafts, to be fair. This is why I've called it rainy day crafting, purely because I plan to do, yes, I'm doing cards at the moment, but I plan to do sewing things, all sorts of things is what I plan. Um, you could get some coordinating embroidery thread or something, wool, and just stitch in and out, you know, from the back to start with, and then the loose ends, you just have sellotaped at the back so you don't see them. And that would sort of coordinate that all up. You know, you could sort of um, stitch one and then sort of come up a few times and sort of only every so often. But anyway, that's that. And so this one, which I rather like, I'm going to have to fiddle because I won't, I won't like that without um, all the holes punched out properly. But that's that. But what I would probably do is, I'll quickly do it, quickly, 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 she says. <laughs> um I say these little pokey tools are really handy. So again, we have got a bit of card there, that there, with a bit of a shim on top. That basically just gives it a bit more pressure back through. Probably if I'd have then done it with white, because another technique you can do is stick them together you could have quite a few layers so it really sort of pops up on your card um let's see oh no you see now that's not quite done enough so maybe i'll i'll, I'll give up while i'm ahead but i'd have to put that back through which is easy to do because you literally would just line that back up um i know what it might be i might have put too much generally it doesn't have to be back to the drawing board or anything you know don't sort of scrap it and think has had it no 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 you just pop it through again were okay Ooh. oh now i'm gonna to have to give up on that um because i've actually done it so it's not it's actually cut slightly out of place but what i'd probably be tempted to do is do that on white 
So if you can imagine, you see, um, see if that was then on a bit of white um, behind, that would do that lovely. So there we have your two cards. Oh, just one other tip. You've got these, which you can keep to do something else with. But whenever you have things that you cut off, you know, bits and pieces, even this, I would keep that because one has been, you know, stuff that you've coloured. And sometimes you just need some tiny little flowers or something. So keep all your scrappy bits, but then keep a jar for all your bits and pieces. So what you could then do, I might do it um, as another... Um, uh, Tell you a video um keep all your little scraps and then you can put sort of like double sided tape on them cover this all and you've got a totally different effect of a card so with crafting every little bits and pieces you keep anyway thanks very much for joining me hope you enjoyed that have a go um i have got a facebook page although i've not really sort of done much with it yet which is, is obviously rainy day crafting because i'm hoping people will then sort of start having a go it doesn't have to be hearts does it it can be anything that you've got okay but it's quite a good effect and the two different colors are quite lovely aren't they anyway thank you very much for joining me see you next time remember to subscribe push that button thank you